Today I'm going to show you how to take your S-Notes from your Galaxy Note 8 to your Windows PC. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you and to get S-Note on your Windows PC you just need to head to the Microsoft Store. Once you are in here, you need to search for S-Note and then you will see that it populates this as one of the application that's available. So you just click on it and then you click install. And now here I'm just going to open it up and click launch. And you'll notice that this is very similar to the Galaxy Note 8 device. So the same thing that you've seen over there, you will be able to see over here on the Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is go up here to the top and click more and then go down here and click settings. And then you wanna click on the Samsung account and you wanna choose the account you want to sync from. So here I've chosen my Samsung account at the top and then that will start pulling down all of the notes that you have synced through your Samsung account over on the device. And if you wanna see how to do that and learn more about S-Note on the phone, make sure you click the pop-up on screen. Now we also have the Wi-Fi sync only. So this setting is really more for the phones, but it's still on here. So just make sure that's turned on, Wi-Fi sync only. So then when you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it's going to sync that info. Down here, you have the change default cover. So then I can see the cover I want whenever I create a new S note. Then we also have about S note and you can just see the version that you have there. So one thing to note, the first thing I wanna talk about is when you are syncing through S note, it is not as seamless as I would like it to be. Um, of course, when you ever you save a note on your phone, it automatically syncs, but to sync on the computer, each time I have had to go up here into the settings, click on my Samsung account, and then right here, choose sync notes. And then that will allow the new notes to populate over here or send the notes from the PC to the S note on the phone. So that's a little finicky, but everything else works really great. And up here you can cancel the sync and you can remove it. So let's go back and show you all the settings that you have on here. So starting up here in the top left of the screen, we have the different categories. So I have all action memos, notes, favorites, and then different categories that I've changed and not categorized. And then over here we have the search option and more, I showed you that. And then down on the bottom right, we have the more. So I can instantly start a text note, I can start a voice recording, or I can start a shape match. So as soon as you click on one of these, it opens up a new note and you can instantly begin doing whichever category you have selected. And then here you just have the new note creation and you can scroll up and down with your mouse. It's really easy as well as this is very touch friendly. Um, you have all those options there. So I'm just gonna click create a new note over here in the bottom. Here it's gonna load up just like on the phone. You have all your options up here at the top. So if you want to zoom in and out, you can go over here to the sidebar and double click and then it will show you the full page. And if you want to zoom in, you can hold down control and then scroll in and that will zoom in again as well. And then I can use this on the sidebar to scroll up and down the page or just use the wheel that you have. You can also go in with your fingers and you can pinch and zoom in and out. So doing a quick tutorial of what options are available here, up at the top we have the different handwriting tools. So we have all the pens that we had on the phone. We can go in and change the exact color and style. We have other colors over here and the thickness and you can see all those options there. The next one is the erase tool. So let's say I'm going to write on here real quick and we can use the mouse to do this or we can write if you have a touch screen and then if you wanted to erase, you can click the erase and when you do this, it will erase by line so you can see that it erases that way instead of just uh, one little part at a time. If you hold down on here, you then have a few more options. You have erase by line so you can adjust that. You have erase touch area and you can also increase the thickness of the erase line and then down here you have erase all. Over here you have the text option, so it will automatically pull open a text box and you can write in here. And then down here at the bottom you have all of the different options. So say I wanna highlight this, I can just do Control A, I can change the font very easily. And then I can go over here and change the font size. I have bold, all the other options right there. So, and then I have the insert an image. And when you click on this, you only get one option. It will open up the file browser 
of your computer and you can go in and find the exact image that you want to add. And once you do that, you just click open. It then imports that image. You can move it around, you can adjust the size, and you can also change the layout here. So if I wanna bring it to the front or the back, I can do that. I can also just crop it right here. If you want to edit the image again, you just right click on it with the mouse, and then you have these options. I also have cut, copy, and delete. And if I wanna do this with my finger on the screen, I can just long press on the screen, that selects the image, I can move it around and adjust it all by hand as well. So then over here we have the lasso tool. So this is the select mode. So if I want to uh, select some of this, so let's say I want to select S note, I can wrap around it, there it has automatically selected, and then I can click properties and do the same thing, bring the front line, I can adjust the thickness of the line. So there you go, if I want it all to be the same thickness, I can go in as well as change the color after the fact. And then I just click over here to finish that. So if you click on the lasso tool, you can then lasso it or just choose the rectangle. So let's do the rectangle again down here. And we have the same options. So then over here we have the undo and the redo. So then down here in the bottom right, we have the picture. So if I click that, it's automatically going to open up the camera and I have a app that's already using that, but it will just open the camera. You can take a picture. Here I can record audio. So when I click record audio, it will automatically start to record and then I can click stop and then I can just go back click in. Record audio, it will automatically start to record. And then I can re-listen to that recording. And then down here we have add new page. So if I wanna add another page to this note, I can do that. I can go back here and let's say we wanna zoom in and out. We have all those options. And if I want to easily see all the pages, I just need to click here in the middle on the one and two, and then I can see all the pages I have. I can favorite this, I can share it or edit it. So maybe I wanna delete one of the pages, I click there, delete, or if I wanna share one of the pages, so I'm gonna click this, click export, and then I can share it as a image JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF file. And then we can also copy pages and move them around. So if I hold down, you can move them back and forth so that you can reorder the pages. Then up here at the top, we have the save and we have the more options. So I can add a page, I can manage pages, just like I showed you before. You can go into the background settings. So I can actually go and change the blank page, line, grid, to do. I can make a diary page all of these options, even changing the background of the color right here, all on the desktop application. So let's go and undo that, change it back to blank and hit done. Then I click more, I can record the sketching again, not much to do here, but when you, when you start recording the sketching and you're done, you click the record and then you can play it back and that's about all you can do. You can't really export it or anything. You'd have to use another application to actually record what is happening. And then the last one here is you have tag. So here you can add the tags, you just add one at a time. So I can click add title, click the plus, and then I can choose another tag and keep adding those in so that you can organize all of your notes. Then down here in the bottom left, we have the favorite pens. So just like on the Note 8, you can come in here and select your favorite types of pen style. So I can click add and you can put multiple in here. So when you're coloring or drawing or whatever you're doing, you can easily just click on one of these, write with that pen, I can go back, choose a different one, and it's really easy to use those pens and makes it very user friendly. Then we can go down here and we have the shape match tool. So then if I draw a shape, it's automatically going to convert that into a more perfect shape. So there I have an oval, here I can do a square, you can do lines, and if it can't figure it out, it just deletes it. So make sure that it's as accurate as possible. So a little fun uh, thing that you can do. And then over here, we have the insert illustration. So maybe I wanna find a little clip art, Maybe I want to add a speech bubble here. I can do that if I wanna flip it around. I can just move it around. It's pretty flexible in how it works. And so we can add a speech bubble there. 
And in the illustrations area, you also have the different shapes up here. So if you wanna find a specific shape, you can do that all on this page. And that is all the settings of the S-Note application. So here I'm going to click save. We're gonna call this ABCs of S-Note so it shows up at the top of the list. And then here we can click share. So it pulls up this page. I go over here and click share and I can share it as an S-Note file. So maybe you wanna share this to your phone if you don't wanna sync it. You can share it as an image or a PDF and you can select all of those at once. So now that we've saved it, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to click the more. And we have a few options. We again have share, edit, import PDF, import S notes, manage category, settings, and help. So I'm gonna go back into the settings. I'm gonna go into the Samsung account and I'm going to select sync notes. And now I'm gonna show you when you go over to the phone when it syncs. So over here, we are on the Galaxy Note 8. And if you are not seeing your Note sync here, you can go up into the settings of S Note. Then you can go to accounts and then you click settings and you can try turning off S Note sync and turning it back on and seeing if that will force it. It may just take a couple minutes, so be a little patient with it. But then once it is done, you'll see that your Note has synced. And up here at the top, we have ABCs of S Note. So I'm just gonna open that up and I wanna make a few changes and then we're gonna sync it back to the computer. So here we go to page one and you can see that when I click edit, I now have all the options I did over on the computer. I can hold down and I can still move this as an object. So maybe I wanna move this down here. I'm gonna hold down the bubble and move that as well. And then I still have the undo options. I'm gonna go back over here. So I wanna get rid of some of these circles that I made. I hold down and then I just click delete, delete. And then maybe I don't like how the handwriting looked on some of these. So I can click erase and erase this. And if you use two fingers, you can pinch around and move around S note. So I can erase that. I can go up here, choose a new pen style. The favorites that we had, they don't sync, so they're unique to each device. But I can go up here and I can choose the pen style I like. And then I can do a little bit better handwriting or maybe not from my device, depending on how your handwriting is. And uh, yeah, you can do all that. So a few other things I wanted to show you before I save this note. I wanna show you a cool feature that I missed on one of my latest videos. I wanna give a shout out to Evan for teaching me how to do this. He talked about using the lasso tool to take a formula and convert it into text. So is what he is talking about. So here I can say one plus two squared equals whatever. And if I go in and I choose the selection tool up here, I can then highlight that formula here I can group it together so it becomes one object. I can change uh, if it's in the back or forward, but here I have the transform into, and when I select that, I have a few options. I can say refine shape, so that's kind of like shape match. It will try and make it a little better. I can do the formula match, or I can do the text match. So it will just convert any word that you wrote into text. But here I'm going to choose the formula option. So when I do that, it's automatically gonna go through and it will, put that into a formula and I can make it bigger here. So it did an all right job. I need to be a little more clear in the way that I write. So you have that really cool option. A few other people have also asked, where is the photo note? So on the phone, if I go in and click insert here, I have the gallery option, the camera, but over here on the side, I have others and there is no photo note or there is no uh, handwritten note, but you do have voice recordings here. You have illustrations, so I can go in and choose the same illustrations or similar illustrations that I had on the computer. I can also go in and add anything from my clipboard as well as the scrapbook application is there and you can go and download that from the Galaxy Books if you want to use the scrapbook application. So I am going to come up here and I'm going to click save and then we are going to go back to the PC and see how that synced over. Here I am back on the PC. We see that my original note is still here. So I am going to go back, go to more, click settings, and then click the accounts and click the sync notes. And that will force the sync to pull over here onto the PC version. 
and we can go back and then we may just need to wait a little. So a few more options that you have here on the main page is when you hover over, it will actually pop up what is in that and all the different pages. So you kind of have the air view function here on the computer. You can also right click on an album over here at the top you have more and you can export that copy move, change the cover, add to favorites and lock that document so you will never have problems. Like I said before, this app still does have some sync issues. So this note still hasn't updated yet. Um, you know, maybe it's gonna take some time or it just might not ever appear over here. But I hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to use the S Note application on Windows. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if you've used this before, please let us know your experience in the comments section. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos all about your smartphone to your smart home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.